Hi, Thierry. Hi, Paul. So, um, must be a very exciting day for Stellantis, uh, but hopefully also for your customers. Yes, and a lot of them, uh, Paul. Imagine that uh, in 2030, low emission vehicle sales will account for more than 70% of our sales in Europe and more than 40% of our sales in the US. And this is obviously a huge increase compared to uh, current status as we will end up 2021 at 14% of our sales in Europe in uh, low emission vehicles and 4% uh, in the US. Wow, these are really impressive figures. I mean, how can you be so sure? Well, what I would suggest is let's listen first to our customers. <laughs> okay, listen to the customers. I would say I'm an early adopter, yeah. Uh, I don't know anybody else who's purchased one apart from myself. My honest hope is that the Wrangler 4 by e as a plug-in hybrid becomes a non-issue and it just goes full electric down the road. This is a much more environmentally friendly form of transport. Innanzitutto è un'esperienza sensoriale nuova. It's just lovely to drive. It's quiet, you just put your foot down and go. It's just effortless, really. Driving around the city streets, I could always accelerate as I needed to. Volevo all'interno del mondo elettrico avere performance e avere la possibilità di avere un'auto che avesse grande autonomia, grande facilità di ricarica e grande velocità. The kids love it and it's just it's just so easy and uh, practical and uh, and cost saving. My favorite thing about the army was how it looks and it was very easy to park. Nous avons déjà engagé une première action qui est d'intégrer plus de 200 véhicules électriques, 208 et berlingots dans notre flotte aussi bien en Espagne qu'en France. With the extension of uh, the long uh, range, we can cover 75% of our fleet. L'elemento su cui ancora uh, c'è da da crescere, da migliorare è l'area domestica, perché le colonnine io abito in un grande condominio e ancora ho difficoltà a capire dove posizionare il mio, il mio wall box, proprio perché non ci sono delle linee guida chiare per gli amministratori. The only negative I can pick up on is the range. Semplicemente scaricando un'app realizzi come intorno a te hai decine di alternative, di colonnine che ti sollevano eh, dall'incubo della ricarica. L'idrogène sarà uno dei pilier du verdissement de notre flotte. La solution Stellantis nous présente deux avantages. La première, c'est son autonomie. Et la deuxième, c'est le volume utile qui reste le même, ainsi que la charge utile qui est similaire à celle d'un véhicule diesel. As a DHL, we have a full commitment to really be serious about our role, uh, to make uh, the world a better place. Electrification is part of our future. As a matter of fact, we don't have another option. I can't ever see me going back to a uh, you know, petrol diesel car. It, um, it's just a no-brainer for me. So, Thierry, okay, we saw some happy early adopters there, um, but there were some roadblocks, roadblocks that they did mention. Um, what do you think about that? Why are you so confident that, despite that, that they'll go on to make these sales? And we don't ignore that, uh, obviously, uh, Paul, but we are very confident for three reasons. The first one is uh, it's really a demand for our customers to drive eco-friendly vehicles. When you look at all the trends survey, it shows that eco-consciousness, preserving the environment, is the fastest growing trend on the, over the last five years, everywhere in the world for all generations. So it's something that is becoming very, very important. And this is like central uh, in, in, in terms of electric vehicles. Absolutely, absolutely. And the second, uh, second reason is the range. So, yes, there were some, uh, some objections on, uh, on that. But thanks to the improvement of the, the batteries that Patrice Luca will uh, detail later, also thanks to the development of the domestic and the fast charging infrastructure that Brigitte Courtehou and Alexandre Guignard will also explain, we will be able to satisfy most of the customers. And just to give you some figures, in the, uh, in the small car segment, 80% of the, the customers uh, will be able to enjoy an electric car without changing their habit whatsoever. And if you look at a compact and mid-size segment, not only in Europe, but also in the US, uh, it's 90%. And if you look at uh, light commercial uh, vehicles, 
all the customers, 100% of the customers, will be, I would say, compatible with uh, uh, zero emission cars without changing uh, the way they work and the way they use it. So uh, where do these figures come from? It's very scientific and very simple approach, assuming that for daily trips, you use the range of the battery. But when you have to do longer trip, uh, you do some small stops, very short, very short, using fast charging, like 20 minutes, for example, a few stops that enable you to do much longer, much longer uh, trips. So we really, really are compatible with uh, most usage of the, of the customers by 2030. And the third reason why we are confident is the cost. That was also highlighted by uh, uh, the customers we uh, listen to, especially the British lady. And I think that uh, it's very important to be able uh, to uh, offer affordable vehicles. Uh, what we will be able to do is, by 2026, to have a similar total cost of ownership uh, compared to a conventional car without any government incentive. Total cost of ownership includes uh, depreciation of the car, maintenance, the energy, and the insurance. So all the costs related to owning uh, a car. So for these three reasons, we are very confident. So we can all look forward to some very happy holidays and at low cost. Exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you. So aligning with customer needs, yes, it's very important. But the next step is to discover how they actually pan, how this actually pans out in practice with the 14 iconic brands over the world. Customers love these brands. They're a part of their everyday lives. So the iconic brands, here they are. Choosing only six wasn't easy, but we're off to Germany for our first snapshot because we wanted to start with a brand that has always been about delivering emotions to their customers, that is close to their customers, approachable, or as they say in German, menschlich. Over to you, Michael. Hello and herzlich willkommen in Rüsselsheim, here from our design center. Electrification at Opel means emotions for our customers. And we deliver pure emotions with electrification and you can actually see it in our logo, the Opel Blitz. We have a flash and a wheel and bring this together, the Opel Blitz. And we, the Opel brand, we are very approachable, human, or in German language, menschlich. Now have a quick look how we connect in a very emotional way to our customers. We have taken the legendary Manta A, put electrification in it, and have an electromod. And this is really an emotional connection to our customer. This is how we drive into the future. And Opel has a long history, a pioneering history in electrification, starting in 1971 with the Electro GT. Again, we are a modern, approachable, very human brand. We drive green innovation and we love emotions for our customers. Another great example is Opel is the first brand rallying electric cars, the Corsa E, in a rally cup. And we at Opel, we are on a journey from cold to cool. Just in this year, we have nine electrified offers. We will have the fuel cell 
in our Opel Vivaro this year. And we electrify our entire portfolio by 2024. And here's the first important news of today. By 2028, Opel will be purely electric in Europe. Opel is really the zeitgeist energy for the new world. And what does that mean? We are young-minded, green and global. Talking about globalization, here's the second very important news of today. Opel will go to China and of course 100% electric. And green is the new cool. Here comes the third very important emotional news of the day. Opel will reinvent the Manta E by mid-decade and bring a very emotional car to the market and this will excite our customers. So what are the three key messages of this important day? First, Opel will go purely electric in Europe by 2028. Opel will go to China and of course 100% electric. And third, very emotional news for our customers, Opel will bring the legendary Manta E to the market by mid-decade. With this, back to the studio. Tschüss und auf Wiedersehen. Thank you, Michael. Green is the new cool, everybody. You can still buy other colors, but they have to be green, right? Now, uh, let's go over to the States for a somewhat different approach. We're talking muscle here. We're talking power. And also, we're talking history. Here on location at the historic Dodge family home with over a hundred years of amazing Dodge heritage parked behind me. And today is an important milestone, embracing the brand's history while looking to the future. The Dodge brand all but defines pure American muscle and was born to push the boundaries of horsepower. For over a hundred years, at the core of everything we do, you'll find a foundation of American ingenuity and pure performance has been the Dodge purpose. Half a century ago, Dodge hit full stride when we introduced the Charger and Challenger. They quickly became icons of performance and attitude. Today, they set the benchmark by embracing ingenuity to push the performance envelope to deliver the most exciting and engaging muscle cars. And that's why Dodge will not sell electric cars. Dodge will sell American muscle. So if a Charger can make a Charger quicker, we're in. And while that may sound like a nuance, it's not, not to our customers anyways, because our customers purchase an experience, not a technology. And it may surprise you to learn that Dodge attracts one of the youngest and most diverse customers in the industry, with the highest concentration of millennials, who now account for a quarter of the US population, with the highest spending power of any generation. And equally, if not more important, millennials also have the highest acceptance rate of EVs. That's why the convergence of a demographic with spending power and the adaptation of electric power creates the perfect gateway for a brand that's all about horsepower. The customer profile of the Dodge brand today will be a key enabler to getting muscle car buyers into EVs tomorrow. And EV technology will enhance the attributes that matter most to our customers. It's not unlike the formula we followed for over a decade as we continuously improved the Hemi power plant and its power output. With every gain in horsepower, we delivered a gain in market share. But even for a brand that's known for pushing it a bit too far, we've pushed this pedal to the floor. Our engineers are reaching a practical limit of what we can squeeze from internal combustion innovation. They know, we know that electric motors can give us more and if we know of a technology that can give our customers an advantage, we have an obligation to embrace it, whatever it takes to keep them in the lead. Again, we won't sell electric vehicles. We will sell more motors, better, faster Dodges. Because Dodge doesn't view EV technology as a revolution, but instead as a natural evolution of the modern muscle car. Let's face it, car and muscle aren't changing and modern has an obligation to. 
And Dodge has made it this far by embracing evolution. And it's the same way the hammerhead shark has thrived at the top of the food chain. Evolution enabled to become one of nature's most aggressive predators. So just as we did a half century ago, Dodge will embrace the sea of change in the marketplace to stand out by embracing electrification. Every ounce of technology we integrate will be done to amplify the elements that define not just Dodge, but the muscle car itself. And in 2024, Dodge will launch the world's first full battery electric muscle car. Through intelligent evolution, we expect to thrive and define the future of American muscle to tear up the streets, not the planet. Hold on a minute. Did we hear that right? Dodge is making an electric car? We're talking hypothetical, right? Surely you jest. Dodge? You mean the people who devised the legendary 426 Hemi and sunk it into a sublime missile? You mean the Dodge that created the Hellcat Red Eye? Fastest and most powerful muscle cars in the world? Makers of the 840 horsepower wheel standing demon? Why on God's green earth would Dodge ever build an electric car? Anybody? Any thoughts out there? Hello? Thanks, Tim. I love that last line. Tear up the streets, not the planet. So that was Dodge. Over to Europe again for a very French brand, a brand that has centered its energy on giving choice to its customers. Quality time with Peugeot. Over to you, Linda. Thank you, Paul. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Peugeot. And for three years now, since the launch of the fully electric Peugeot E208, the Peugeot brand has been acting as an LEV pioneer for Stellantis and has taken on the role of front runner, providing electric mobility for demanding customers is already a reality at Peugeot, with 70% of all models in Europe available in an electrified version, from passenger cars to vans, not to mention Peugeot e-bikes and e-mopeds. Electrification is at the heart of our power of choice strategy. It means we are committed to offering the brand's customers the choice of powertrain that best suits their needs. Peugeot's full electric models have had great success. For the first five months of 2021, Peugeot is the second best-selling generalist brand in Europe for overall model sales and the third best generalist LEV brand. The Peugeot E208 and E2008 have posted strong results as second most registered models in their respective BEV segments, gaining segment share year on year. Our power of choice strategy is bearing fruit, not only proving successful in terms of sales, but also contributing to our profitability. Indeed, there is parity in margins between Peugeot internal combustion engine models and electrified models. And furthermore, 45% of our LEV sales are upper versions. Well, this strong sales performance supports our energy transition journey. In Europe, our transition is intensifying. 85% of our models will be electrified by 2023, and this will be 100% by 2025. And internationally, we will use our strong EV model portfolio to stand out as an inventive, high-end, generalist brand in emerging EV car markets. And tomorrow, well, tomorrow the dedicated BEV platform will bring new customer benefits, further enhancing the Peugeot pleasure of driving. Thank you. And now back to Paul in the studio. Thank you, Linda. So back to the US again, this time in the heart of Michigan where the future is being made while we speak. 
always on their quest for excellence. They are blazing their own trail. Over to you, Mike. What we do today, what we earn, what we make, everything we put into the world today is simply a down payment on their future. That's why we get up and get after it. Because what we give today gives everyone a better tomorrow. Hello, everyone. We are coming to you from the heart of our tech center in Auburn Hills, Michigan, where the future of our brand is right here. And today, we'd like to walk you through Ram's vision for the future. As the only dedicated truck and van brand, Ram's foundation is strong. We are built to serve. And this is a promise we make to our customers every day. And it is our promise to serve the next generation of Ram customers with a next generation portfolio of products that delivers on their real world demands. Challenging convention, we will push past what competitors have announced, past what the customer expects, to a fuller portfolio of technology with more range, more power, more productivity, and more convenience. Now the fact is, our focus is on bringing the right product at the right time. Research has shown us that the truck customers are open to electrification, but are not willing to sacrifice power, performance, or capability. And that's why, as we are in full motion on our portfolio of solutions, we are addressing the real world demands of our customers. Now for pickup owners, capability is critical since so many are towing and hauling regularly or with aspirations to do so. And van segment capability requirements are focused on payload and cargo space with some lighter towing, but always with an eye on commercial and business needs. It is our responsibility to listen to our customers, understand what they need, and to bring tailor-made solutions since one size fits all doesn't address our customer needs. There is no reason why electrification should limit the choice of solution we owe to our customers. And that's why Ram will differentiate itself from competitors by offering a full portfolio of electrified solutions to better meet these customer needs. We will be customer first. Our technology will alleviate customer concerns, improve the product, and deliver on real world demands. We will offer a better range of Ram e-technology with architectures that are designed to evolve in the future based upon changing customer needs, usages, and expectations, adoptable across a wide variety of products. And in 2024, with full knowledge of what our competitors are doing, we will surpass their offerings with the Ram 1500 battery electric vehicle built to again redefine the full-size segment. Now in summary, we are not following in the footsteps of our competitors. Our plan is on track to start production on the class shattering Ram 1500 battery electric vehicle in 2024. And as the only dedicated truck and van brand, Ram will offer a fully electrified solution in the majority of our segments by 2025 and a full portfolio of electric solutions for all of our segments no later than 2030 because it is our responsibility to serve our loyal following of Ram owners who believe in our products and who are proud to wear our badge today, but also bring in a greater number of new customers to our brand by continuing to be bold and challenging tradition. Because when you think about the disruption that Ram has created in the last decade, just think about what can happen in this next one. Thank you for your time. It was in the first Ram that rolled off the line. A promise to make our drivers stronger. We are built to serve. Every year since, we've built on that promise. And now, we are doing it again with electrification. Solving real-world challenges today with world-leading technology to make tomorrow even better. When the first electrified Ram rolls off the line, 
You'll know. We've kept our promise again. Thanks, Mike, and thanks for talking disruption, because very shortly we're going to start talking technology and batteries, and you will see there's going to be even more disruptive technologies in the pipeline. Now, change of scenery, change of mood. We're going to Italy for a little bit of dolce vita and fun. Green is only green when it's green for all. And the CEO of Fiat is going to say a few words from an iconic place in Torino. Look up, see something new. The cleanest sky in decades. Should this happen only once in a lifetime? It's something to reflect on. Do we need a lockdown to get there? Or can the answer come naturally? Can we move and breathe and leave no trace at all? It's time we all went electric. Hi. So did we really need a lockdown to get that message? Well, now it is time to move in the right direction. So here is just one idea. As you can see around me, we are turning the roof of our old factory in Turin into a garden, a hanging garden, soon to be open to all the people of our city. This, I think, is a strong signal that we are on an ambitious path to sustainability, embodied in our tagline, it's only green when it's green for all. That's Fiat DNA, for all. Now, what is Fiat about? It's about simplicity, fun, and social relevance, typical Italian DNA. And today, that DNA is priceless. I mean, simplicity. It is a real asset in such a complex world. And so is fun in a culture of worry. And now what made us uh, so relevant in the first place, mobility for all, evolves into sustainability for all. Now, what does electric bring to cars? Well, we all know it brings more simplicity with no gearbox and one pedal. Then it brings more fun to drive with tons of torque. Just try a new Fiat 500 electric. And last, it brings obviously more care for the planet, which is the biggest concern of our time. Bottom line, electricity just enhances fiat. More simplicity, more fun, more relevance. And that is really good news because it means that we won't have to reinvent our brand and we won't uh, need to justify or explain or twist it uh, like a pretzel. You see, fiat going electric is just a fit. So no surprise, the new lineup uh, we are cooking is going to embrace full electric, at least in Europe. So starting from today, the first EV dedicated model is already on the streets. The Fiat 500 going electric only is a pretty radical choice. It means that we are going all in. It's an iconic car with a cause. And as you can see here, so far, it's working. Next, a totally electrified LCV lineup at the end of next year, which by the way, includes fuel cells. And from 2023 and 24, you will see an unprecedented passenger car offensive that will bring electric versions on every nameplate. And the same year, 2024, Arbat too will switch to full BEV. Now, the question is, when do we shift to just BEV? Well, the answer is simple. With a democratic DNA like ours, we will do so as soon as we can offer electric at the price of thermic, which in Europe should happen by 2025, 2030. Now, obviously, we don't want to just sit and wait and follow the trend. We want to disrupt and accelerate. And the ingredients for that are in our Centoventi concept presented in Geneva. This is exactly the kind of animal our DNA can generate. It's a pure people's electric car, affordable and using the concept of simplicity to cut the fluff and make way for batteries. So let me say we are convinced that electric will bring new power to the brand by bringing new power to the people. 
So after 500, we are going all in once again because electric will recharge Fiat and because it's only green when it's green for all. Thank you. Thank you, Olivier. I love what he said about the brand's DNA, such a central part of really meeting a huge diversity of customer needs worldwide. Each brand that you see is proud of its DNA, I can tell you. Next one up, we're going back to the US. It's Jeep. Over to you, Christian. Hi, everyone. Jeep is more than a brand. It is a community. And I'm a lucky guy because I was inducted into this community by my father, who used to take me to the mountains in a Jeep Willis similar to this one. Those open air trips are some of the most fun and exciting memories of my life. And today, my mission is for the Jeep brand to deliver zero emission freedom for the generations to come because Jeep 4x4 owners are much more than just clients, customers, or target audiences. They're part of a community that lives and loves the Jeep brand values, freedom, adventure, authenticity, and passion. This has been the cornerstone of our brand for 80 years. And to honor those core values, we're committed to zero emission, 100% freedom. To build this future, first, we need to imagine it, and then to make it happen. Our past is a proud one. 80 years later, our dreams of a better tomorrow have never been stronger than right now. Today, we're smarter, more connected, and more powerful than ever imagined. But our lust for adventure doesn't stop with the advancements of today. So give me the future. It's golden and bright. Catch your feet and dream in the flash of the lights. Now nothing is Four by E technology has taken America's iconic four by four and amplified it on every level. With a new line of Jeep vehicles designed to blaze trails directly into a brighter, better future. Each innovation ingrained with the Jeep brand DNA to go anywhere, do anything, and bring you home again. So give me the future. It's golden and bright. Catch your fever dream in the flash of the light. This is the next chapter in the journey we've been on for 80 years. This is the Jeep life electrified. This video feels like a dream, but the future is today. This year already, we're forging ahead into an electrified future with our four best-selling models, including the upcoming all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee 4xE, revealed here for the first time. We're also installing solar charging stations to support our community where it matters most, the trail. And very soon, in 2025, we will have a zero-emission Jeep 4xE in every SUV segment. 4xE is Jeep brand's exclusive electrification approach to develop the most capable and sustainable four-wheel drive vehicles in the world. 4xE allows us to give our community more of what they love about the Jeep brand, more capability by increasing on-demand torque for maximum traction, acceleration, and four-wheel drive performance more fun by enjoying open air, in nature, in absolute silence. More style by opening the doors to new design possibilities and creating more space for people and gear. 
Let me be clear, Forbaye is good for Jeep. It's good for the Jeep community, and more importantly, it is good for our planet. In 2021, 100% of our SUV lineup in Europe offers 4xe technology. Jeep Compass and Renegade 4xe are the best selling low emission SUVs in Italy, our largest market in Europe. And just two months after launch, Wrangler 4xe is already the best selling PHEV in America. And it is sold out for the rest of the year. Hardcore enthusiasts like those at Four Wheeler and financial media like Bloomberg both agreed that 4xe is the way forward for the Jeep brand. And this is only the beginning. By 2025, we'll be offering a zero emission, fully electric Jeep 4xe in every single SUV segment. 70% of all Jeep vehicles sold will be electrified. And Wagoneer, as the premium extension of the Jeep brand, will expand to offer zero emission vehicles in the most profitable premium SUV segment. 4xe is the most significant change ever. It is the opportunity to future-proof the Jeep brand for long-term profitable growth and value creation for our shareholders. I started today by saying that I was lucky to be introduced to the Jeep community many years ago by my father. Today, it is my commitment to all of you to continue this upward, forward and zero emission path for the generations to come. Because 4xe is the new 4x4 and our future is zero emission freedom. Thank you, Christian. Zero emission freedom for the Jeep community. So we're going to stop the catalogue of brands there. We don't want you to get too dizzy going back and forth between Europe and the US. But you can discover some of the other iconic brand statements we didn't have time to cover today. Chrysler, Citroën, Lancia, Maserati, oh my God, and the list goes on. Now, we asked Mike to also talk to us about a segment in which Stellantis looks to be well positioned to becoming world leader, commercial vehicles. Over to you, Mike. Our electrification strategy is enhanced as we think of our family of brands underneath the Stellantis umbrella. And with our already strong sales position, in particular, the number one position in Europe today and our strength in light and heavy-duty Ram pickups in North America, Stellantis is perfectly positioned to become the world leader in e-commercial vehicles. Our strategic roadmap is clear and is already being delivered on. We will leverage the synergies we have within Stellantis to expand our electrification plan across all products and all regions over the next three years. We have a 100% electrified van range in Europe with midsize and large already launched and delivered and compact van first deliveries scheduled for the last quarter. And already today, we are taking this deep knowledge of electrification in our European operations and using it to accelerate electrification in North America with the first beneficiary being the Ram Promaster in the US. And our electrification leadership will quickly become even more concrete with the introduction of new technologies with the delivery of our first fuel cell vans by the end of 2021. But that is just the beginning. Environmental trends and business conditions are motivating customers across all segments to consider new technologies and new innovations that serve their demanding and ever-changing needs. Their business needs are many, from delivery to construction, to people mover, to recreation, and more and their usage requirements are clear. So it's our number one priority to understand our customer demands so that we can deliver a full portfolio of products that exceeds their expectations in all ways. And that's why we have focused on a customer-centric approach to deliver the widest and deepest range of products from the small Omni cargo van to our largest Ram pickups and all the segments in between to develop products that are the best in class for capability, safety, strength, durability, and innovation. 
and to offer a customer-driven range of electrified alternatives to create platforms that are conversion-friendly, opening possibilities to customize the product exactly as they need it, and to provide an unparalleled customer experience with our customer's business through an extensive network of service support with focus on reducing the total cost of ownership and overall maintenance costs, all supported by a growing charging infrastructure that will be outlined in more detail later in these sessions. So to recap, these are transformational times for the commercial vehicle business. And make no mistake, there is no global company that is better positioned than Stellantis to deliver the right portfolio of solutions for the commercial customer. We are ready. Our ambition is strong. And we will become the global leader in e-commercial vehicles. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. I think the message here is that we are leveraging knowledge to become a world leader in affordable, sustainable, and clean commercial vehicles. Okay, so far we've talked about the market evolution and how having 14 iconic brands on both sides of the Atlantic is a considerable advantage when it comes to answering customer needs. But what about technology? Let's find out with our next chapter how platforms, powertrains, software, and batteries are aligned and perfectly positioned to deliver on customer needs.